for possible layoffs in Wisconsin. It appears Democrats and Republicans are moving closer to breaking the stalemate. One report says both sides are talking about removing or changing a provision from Governor Scott Walker's bill that would limit unions' bargaining wages. They also want to remove a provision requiring unions to vote every year on whether to remain active or be decertified. Governor Walker has threatened to send layoff notices to 1,500 employees. Here in Kansas City, protesters brave the rain to voice their concerns and show support for Wisconsin workers. Now, this group near the plaza today chanted and sang songs about workers' rights. Many of the people here are members of the Workers' Union 6355. Local 6355 represents more than 7,000 public sector workers in Missouri. They say workers in Wisconsin have started a movement, and it's time for people here in the metro to defend their workers' rights. A whole lot of cold and a whole lot of snow hasn't stopped the workers in Wisconsin who have woken up and have woken up a movement in this country to start fighting back against the relentless attack on working people's rights. Coming up on NBC Action News at 6, we'll take a look at the report released today that says things are improving for all workers and why some local experts strongly disagree.